technique is not applicable to all prospects in all situations. It's just something to have in your arsenal. This is an approach to asking people to take a look. And it's based on this philosophy. My philosophy is that people don't say no to our products and they don't say no to our companies. I've never had a prospect look at my website and say, that's a stupid company. I show them, here's the management team. They're a bunch of losers. Here's our, here's our uh, distributor back office. You guys don't know anything about technology. Something about network marketing companies is usually, not always, but usually leading edge. Products are leading edge. Management team, when it comes to leadership skills, leading edge. Websites, leading edge. We are leading edge companies in most cases. I've never had a prospect look at products or or company and say, you know what, your packaging, your formulations, those suck. I'm not interested in what you're doing because of that. They may not resonate with the products, like they might not be interested in those kind of products. And they certainly might not be interested in doing what I'm doing. But the missing is the business model. It's not the products, it's not the company. What most people do in the profession is they lead with the products and they lead with the company. And when what they find out is they get people involved but they've never addressed the biggest objection they have, which is the business model. So sometimes it's appropriate to lead with the business model generically and get people comfortable with that. And then your particular opportunity, easy, it's automatic. Like they're just, they're in whatever you're doing if you address the business model. And one of the ways to address it is with this book. A lot of you have custom editions, awesome. So here's the technique. Carry one of these books with you, all times, all places. And don't take that casually. When I say have it on you, carry it with you on your person, that means in your pocket, in your coat, in your purse, in your briefcase, not in the car. If the book is in your car, you'll miss most of the opportunities to use it. If you have to go get it, you'll miss most of the opportunities. So the technique is, Personalize a copy of the book, your name, your contact information. Perhaps even take a yellow highlighter and highlight maybe a story in the back or a particular quote or a particular graphic. Just personalize it. Carry it with you. Now you're in a conversation with somebody, a curiosity-based conversation. They're going to open themselves up to you, passion or problem. They're going to lay it wide open. You say something like this. You pull this book out and you say, you know, I'm reading this book that's teaching me how to. You customize the how to based on who you're talking to. So if you're talking to a waitress in a Denny's, you don't say, I'm reading this book on how to become a multimillionaire in the next four years. You don't say that because she can't hear what you said. In fact, she doesn't, that language, she doesn't understand it at all. But if you say, I'm reading a book on how to make an extra $500 to $1,000 a month without leaving my full-time career or my job. See how that fits for her? If you're talking to a dentist that makes a quarter million dollars a year, you better not say, I'm reading a book about how to make an extra $500 or $1,000 a month. He's, he or she's going to say, that's fascinating for you. <laughs> so I'm reading a book that's teaching me how to customize what the book is teaching you how to, but then use this line as close to verbatim as you can. If that were true, would you want to read about it? If that were true, would you want to read about it? I would like to say no one's ever said no. I hate to say those kinds of things. I can't remember anybody ever telling me no. I think almost everybody says yes. I'll read about that. Then you say, well, this is my book. If you're carrying the book and you paid for it, whose book is it? I suppose there's a little bit of creative license there if you have a hundred of them in your <laughs> trunk of your car. But it is still your book, right? 
This is my book. If you'll look it over in the next couple of days, I'll loan you my copy. And can you look it over in the next couple of days? If they say no, I'll look it over in the next couple of weeks. I'll say, let me know when you can look it over in a couple of days. If they say, yeah, I'll look it over in a couple of days. Not read it. Don't ask them to read it. Just ask them to look it over. If they say, yeah, I'll look it over in a couple of days. Just give them the book. Ask them for their contact information so you can follow up and get your book back. So your process, like if you can envision this, your pipeline is you have eight or 10 of these books out in the marketplace at all times, maybe 20. People that are looking at them, reading them, reviewing them. And here's what'll happen. People that will say, I'll look it over in a couple days and you get a specific, okay, by when, I'll call your ping you. I like to say ping, it's kind of a submarine term, but a sonar term. But for me, it means I might email you, I might text you, I might Facebook you, I might call you. I'm gonna contact you. Whenever we agree that I'm gonna contact you. And here's what my experience is so far. 50% of the people that say I will have looked it over within that two days have looked it over. Their response, some not interested, some very interested, some neutral. Most people, leave the book with a brand new favorable understanding of what we do and introducing them to your particular company is seamless and automatic doesn't mean they'll get in but they're looking at your company through a different light like they understand the credibility i mean if you haven't read this book you read it it's just packed with every piece of credibility our profession can offer right here in one book if people actually read it it's very difficult to get to the last page and say, network marketing doesn't work and it's not credible. Difficult to have that opinion. So those are much better prospects to show your opportunity to than people who might entertain looking at your company, but what's in the background is they don't wanna do what you're doing. So this is just an opportunity to address that first. 50% of the people that say they'll look at it within two days will not look at it. So all you do with those people, you don't beat them up, you don't take the book back, you just say, no problem, I get it. When can you look at it? In the next couple of days? And so they say, yeah, sure, in the next couple of days, whatever commitment they make, then you would think that 50% of those people will have looked at it in the next couple of days, but that's not true because they've already demonstrated they don't keep their commitments. So most of the people who say they will have looked at it in the next two days still haven't looked at it. So your process is to continue to follow up with people to get them to honor their commitment to look at the book. And ultimately you might, you know, 20, 30% of them might never, not ever look at the book, might not ever get it back. But the ones that do look at it, fantastic prospects.